So, TK421, are you enjoying your time off duty? Absolutely. No Stormtrooper Academy, no blaster fire and range drills. Just little old me, this drink, and no Empire Directives breathing down my neck. <sighs> Doesn't get any better than this, right, Phillips? Remember, protocol, even off-duty. No names. Understand, TK-421? Lighten up! You can call me Roberts, or Tipsy Trooper. You can call me whatever you want. Especially after this beer. Man, this crap is hitting me harder than the Death Star fiasco. Drink your beer and pipe down. It's important we maintain our elite demeanor, never let our guard down. I realize this is your first night off, and you want to have a little fun. I know your game, though. You start drinking and your mouth starts running. It's a good thing we made our comm link on the encrypted frequency. Nobody can hear us, and it's nice that you can let your hair down a bit and relax. But don't forget, you are a stormtrooper. Being a stormtrooper is a privilege. Never lose focus. Be worthy of the uniform, even when they can't hear us. Damn, this dark beer isn't making it. Whew. And it's a little bitter for my taste. As a matter of fact, this shit is horrible. Tastes worse than a Bantha's piss on a hot Tatooine day. But we must muster through for the sake of the Empire. We should try out the Jedi light beer for the next round. But no one can know about this, Phillips. Do I have your word? Oh, yeah. You got it, big guy. <laughs> I, I, I mean, TK-452, yes, sir. <laughs> I am a little tipsy here. Hey, easy on the drinks, lightweight. The officer near the east entrance has eyes on us. Time to dial it down and keep a low profile for a while. Roger that. Hey, did you hear that rumor going around? I try not to engage in gossip, but, uh, what's the rumor? Okay, so get this. The cleaning lady, right? Yeah, well, she's in the control room after the shift. And who does she stumble upon? Darth Vader and one of his commanders. Not the short, roly-poly one, but the big, you know, the tall dude. You know what I'm talking about, right? That guy looks like a stick. Anyway, here, here's the kicker, though. Okay, she spilled the whole saga to somebody. I think it was Mary TK fourteen fifty one. No, no, I had scratched that. I think it was. I think it was TK two forty six. Wait, Renee ends up grabbing dinner with her husband Don. I think it was on Tuesday. Anyway, this Don, you know, always whining about this bucket. Wants you to just it like it's a droid he's tinkering with or something. <laughs> Honestly, the bucket's fine. It fits him like a glove. Uh, and it's, but hey, I mean, what do I know? It's Get to the point, Roberts. I hate your never-ending stories. The cleaning lady heard Darth Vader say to the stick commander, Order me six cases of the Jedi light beer. That's right. Darth Vader hates his own beer. <laughs> the Sith tastes like shit, Phillips. <laughs> Coming from TK4262. You know what I'm talking about. You know that little guy with the big head and no neck? I mean, I tell you what. The beer stinks for sure. <laughs> Go barf on that, Darth. Glad it doesn't have my name on it. Mr. Farty Pants can't even get his beer right. The moron. I mean, seriously. <sighs> Not everything can be made with such precision, right? <laughs> like the Death Star. <laughs> now that was precise. But here we got Mr. Dark Lord missing the target. He couldn't even shoot in the right direction. <laughs> he couldn't feel us. It looks like somebody gave him the wrong coordinates where to harvest the good malt, right? <laughs> Yeah, he can't use his Sith power to make this taste anything but awful. Sith shit. <laughs> oh, God. The Empire Strikes Back! <laughs> you guys realize everyone's tuning into your convo, right? Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. And it's hurtful. Wait a minute. How's that possible? My partner and I are on a private encrypted comm link. We're on Tatooine. The lines are switched. It's been known here for a while. Everyone knows, don't you? But I, but I checked. The encrypted comm link is uh, number two. Nope. Two got switched on Tatooine to number four. It's public. 
One is two, two is four, four is one, and three is three. No. One is three, three is four, and four is two. You're wrong. Test it yourself. Hello? Hello? You're right. See? I told you. But how? I, I mean, when did this happen? Who... It's obvious. Death Star, we have a problem. <clears throat> Good evening, sir. You have got much bigger problem than calling out for the Death Star. Last call for Sith Beer! Last call for Jedi Light! Uh, one over here! Uh, one over here! Uh, uh, hey, one over here! loyal stormtroopers to subscribe to star wars short films and star wars fans galaxy tube channels for more content coming up soon dear stormtroopers we asked the newbie stormtrooper class serial number tk451 to 460 to take your seat in the classroom in five minutes today's lesson dedication to the empire Attention class, today we will discuss the utmost importance of dedication to the Empire. It is imperative you understand your role in maintaining order. Let's begin with having loyalty to the Empire. Listen to me, loyalty to the Empire is non-negotiable. Um, sir? What exactly is the Empire's policy on lightsabers in training class? Like, what if a cadet brought one to show and tell? Lightsabers are not permitted in class, as they are not standard issue equipment. However, you do bring up a valid point. Loyalty means understanding the tools of the Jedi, and how to counter them. Okay, let's not get sidetracked. We are discussing loyalty to the Empire, not baby glow sticks. Uh, I've been thinking about civilization and the impact on the Empire. I am impressed. Continue on with your thoughts, Cadet. Well, okay, so if the Death Star would have had seatbelts, do you think it would have, like, survived? Oh, sure, because seatbelts were what was keeping our station intact, right? Class, we are discussing loyalty and its meaning, not safety tips by buckling up. Um, I did hear those little bikes on Endor are a lot of fun. I thought it'd be cool if we could, like, take a field trip. And um, then we could, we could do that, like, you know? Field trips are not part of the curriculum and rigorous training. Our dedication lies in defending the Empire. Not joy rides on cute little speeder bikes. And no, we cannot go to indoor. This is not a vacation. It's training to be distinguished stormtroopers, you imbecile. Stay on topic. Now, back to the meaning of dedication. Dedication to the Empire means unwavering commitment. It means putting the needs of the Empire above your own desire and distractions. It means... Uh, are you... are you crying? I, I hear crying. Stormtroopers don't cry. Pop quiz time. You, in the back. What does dedication mean? Dedication? That's when you aim at it and end up juggling moves from a foreign place, sir. What the f*** did you just say? 
dedication is the unwavering commitment to our duties, not whatever you just mumbled or said. You. What does loyalty mean to the Empire? Loyalty? Oh, that's when you're really good at being a stormtrooper. Y yes Continue on, cadet. And, like, singing the Imperial Anthem so the other cadets, like, get all patriotic or something? No, that's not. Um, um, never mind. Loyalty means being devoted to the Empire. Honestly, class, I expected more from you. Pay attention and focus on the lesson, please. I have had it up to here with the lack of interest and comprehension. Class dismissed. No, wait. I'll dismiss myself and leave you cadets here to read your textbooks. Focus on Chapter 5. Everything I need, I learn by being a stormtrooper. Read it. Breathe it. Eat it. And live it. Wait, did he really say to breathe it? Maybe the Empire's secret weapon is air, and <laughs> we've missed his point all along. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think he's tired. Maybe even a little dumb. Yeah. Like, how are we supposed to eat it? I don't really want to eat poop, guys. <laughs> I think he's lost it. No! Dear students and teachers, Next class will be the anatomy of the Wookiee. No! After many of you requested, I am happily announced that we are going to enter to a class trip next week. Uh.